Welcome to our uh, first edition of our Michigan football preview um, with the Michigan Journal uh, Sports. We're uh, previewing the uh, Notre Dame-Michigan game, Under the Lights 2. It's the second time uh, these teams will meet um, you know, under the lights at Michigan Stadium. They did that back in 2011. Uh, Michigan narrowly uh, escaped you know, defeat by the Irish. Um, last year, the Michigan Journal crew was at uh, South Bend, and uh, Notre Dame squeezed by with a 13-6 to victory. So a lot of expectations going into this game. Both teams are uh, ranked in the top 25. Michigan's ranked 17th. Uh, Notre Dame's ranked 14th. So huge expectations for Saturday. Um, 8 p.m. ESPN's going to be there. College game day is going to be there. It's overall going to be a huge game. So, uh, Ryan, what are your expectations for Saturday? My expectations for Saturday is for Michigan to beat the Fighting Irish at the Big House for the last time we're going to see them in we don't know how long. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a close one like it's always been, but Gardner and company are going to find a way to prevail. It, it should be. It's setting up to be a great game. Last year was, you know, Denard uh, Robinson versus uh, Everett Golson. Both players are, you know, they're on to the next step of their life. Uh, Robinson's in the NFL with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Everett Golson, he's going to wait and come back to Notre Dame next year after being mm -hmm. uh, suspended from the team. So we have, you know, a different uh, game style this year. We have uh, Devin Gardner versus Tommy Reese. Uh, if you remember, Tommy Reese uh, led the Fighting Irish. Um, against Michigan in 2011 in uh, the first Under the Lights game. So it, it should be an interesting game. He uh, put up some big numbers, 315 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Um, just had his way with uh, the Michigan secondary. But then again, Michigan, you know, they've improved their secondary over the years with uh, Brady Hoke's uh, recruiting classes. So that'll be something interesting to watch too. Yeah, the whole thing with that is, it's Reese and Gardner. These guys, it's the big game. It's under the lights. It's on ESPN. It's, it's time for these guys to put up or shut up. You know, the talk is cheap. They both think that they, you know, they're the next big thing in college football, potential Heisman Trophy winners. Who's going to come up with a big win at the big house this Saturday? That's the big question. And like Ryan was talking about, uh, Tommy Reese has yet to win the big game. He's, he's, he started for Notre Dame in 2011, his sophomore year. Didn't start last year in his junior year because of Everett Golson's rise in the team. This year, it's his team. It's it's his year. Um, last year he tore last week he tore apart the Temple Owls at home. Um, same thing with Gardner. Gardner had a huge game against Central Michigan, but don't take anything you know mm. from that game you know into this game because two different teams, two different talent levels. Um, you're gonna see something you know. Top, top 25 teams clash in the big house. Um, Gardner, you know, I think he's going to have a huge game. Uh, last week he uh, threw for 162 yards, completed uh, 10 passes on 15 attempts. He also had two interceptions, but he did credit that to uh, a little bit of rust and, uh, you know, just overthrowing uh, in the press conference. Yeah, let me just say this. Devin Gardner will not be gunslinging like he was early in the first quarter against mm -hmm. Central Devin Gardner is going to play more methodical football game against the Notre Dame Irish. You cannot just whip the ball 50 yards like Denar or Devin Gardner or <laughs> Robinson used to do, and you know, with three guys in coverage, you just you just can't do that. And they're going to be more, you know, more systematic with it, I believe. Get the running game started, slow it down, work their way, get their rhythm, and then you know, start hacking downfield, hack that Notre Dame secondary. Yeah, last week you saw Michigan rush for, I think, over 200, 200 yards. I think it was 242. Um, I think you're going to see the same game plan from Brady Hoke. Um, obviously, both teams didn't want to show too much of what they're going to show this Saturday because, you know, then you get a game plan, you get a whole week to prepare for it. So a little bit of, uh, you know, different things. I think you're going to see Gardner, you know, still try to do his thing, you know, scrambling-wise. He rushed for uh, 52 yards last week, two touchdowns. I think you're going to see a little bit more of that, too. Um, even uh, Fitzgerald Toussaint, uh, 14 carries in his first game since breaking his leg last year, 57 yards, two touchdowns. So I think you're going to see a little bit of him. And also the combo from Derek Green, the freshman, 11 carries, 58 yards, and one touchdown in his uh, college debut. Yeah, it should be interesting to see how what running back they're going to go with. It's probably just going to be a hot or cold thing. Who's got, you know, who's getting the carries in for that game. Expect Toussaint to probably start it off. And he'll work green in, just like Notre Dame. Well, they'll throw in their two running backs. And 
to see who has it that night. That's what it's going to be. Who has it that night? Does Reese have it? Does Gardner have it? What running back is going to push it? There's a lot on the line of this game. There's a lot of tension behind it. There's, what's this rivalry mean? Mm -hmm. is, is Notre Dame a big rival? Is Michigan a big rival? Yes, it's a huge rivalry. It would not be on ESPN in college game. They would not be there. The media was not focused on this. There is a lot of attention to this game. Oh, yeah. It's, it's under the lights, too. It's going to be huge. And pretty jealous this guy gets to uh, enjoy the experience at the big house. I'll be watching on television like most of you. And it's going to be a fun one. It should be a close game. The fans, 110,000 plus, are just going to be oh, yeah. rowdy. It's going to be an awesome game. So, you know, what else are you looking for other than, you know, under the lights, too? You obviously have the last time Michigan and Notre Dame will clash um, at the Big House. Next year, Michigan uh, travels down to South Bend um, to battle the Irish for one last time, probably for a long time. Uh, Dave Brandon said uh, earlier today that he's, he isn't probably going to uh, try to renew a contract with Notre Dame to play them in the future. So it could be you know, the last time we see uh, these two teams meet at Ann Arbor for a long time. So what else are you looking for storyline? For storyline, how are the players going to take this this whole rivalry thing? What is what is Coach Kelly telling his players? How is he rivaling enough to go against Michigan? And what's Hulk saying to our guys? I mean, what? How much is the locker room? Or what are the coaches doing to push this? How you know, angry and fast and just furious these guys are going to come out? You mm -hmm. know, oh, they're going to come around the tunnel. What kind of nasty they're going to have when they get on the field? Is it going to be an old school, you know, rough and tough football game, you know, grinded for yards, you know, just a couple yards, strong carries, breaking tackles? What are we going to see from the field? You know both these teams want to win. How physical is this game going to get? So I think with that, we're going to talk about our predictions. Um, I think Michigan's going to squeak out another victory. Um, Tommy Reese, you know, he hasn't won that big game yet. I don't think he's going to win it this time. But he's going to give the Michigan a battle just like he did in his sophomore year and under the lights won the first edition of that. Um, I think Devin Gardner is going to have a huge game. Uh, you're going to see a little bit more of Devin Gardner, what you're going to see the rest of the year. Um, you know, pass attack and then uh, the run attack. And then also the two running backs, uh, Toussaint and Green. I think Toussaint's going to carry the load and Green's going to be the uh, the bruiser, you know, coming out there on the, uh, the uh, third down play, uh, first and goal. You're going to see him out there, uh, especially now since Drake Johnson, the other freshman running back, he's out for the year with the torn, torn ACL. So I think you're going to see a lot more of Derek Green, a lot more of Fitzgerald Toussaint to set up Devin Gardner's uh, area of assault. Um, so my prediction, I think Michigan's going to win 28-24. to 28-24, to 24, huh? I'm going to be a little bit lower scoring. I'm going to say it's going to be, at the end, it's going to be 24-13 Michigan. Why I say this is that, I would say for the most part, Michigan defense held Notre Dame at bay last year. I feel like defense has improved tremendously mm -hmm. since that. As you can tell, as the season progressed last year, and even for the bowl game in South Carolina, that they've looked a lot better. And the offense, the more... <laughs> the offense with the, uh, you know, the pro-style offense, you know. Now we're going to have Gardner, which you've seen he can be a... A threat on his feet. He made mm -hmm. no clue that. And I don't think it's just because it's central. I think the kid's just, uh, just, he's very talented. He can make plays with his feet. The big point is, can he make that big play with his arm? And I think he can. I believe he can. And the running backs, you know, I can't, I can't remember how many times, you know, Robinson ran that game against Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was quite a bit. And eventually that stuff gets predictable. I think the adaption of a running game, you know, Toussaint and Green is just going to, it's going to keep the Notre Dame, you know, they're going to be at bay. And that's when that passing attack, it's going to really help us pass down the field. And that's what ultimately is going to win the game is a strong passing attack, a good fundamental football game, and strong defensive play. Yeah, those are, those are really good thoughts too, Ryan. Um, any, anything else? Go blue. Okay. Should be a good game. Go blue. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're, I'm going to be there. Our uh, photographer, Amanda Gosselin, is going to be there, too. Um, we're going to have you uh, covered with everything on Twitter, uh, at the MJ Sports. Uh, myself, too. We're going to be um, all on Twitter, um, giving you the updates that, you, that you'll that uh, you be looking for. So it uh, should be an interesting game. Uh, I'm Ricky Lindsay. I'm Ryan Peters. And this is uh, the MJ Sports preview of uh, Notre Dame and Michigan.